Okay, so in the previous lecture, we created our first script that allows us to keep track of the number of stores that we own. And we can run it again here and buy store and see the counter going up. It's a very simple script. Now we're going to upgrade that script by double clicking on our store script again. I highly encourage you to save your project and save your scenes always along the way. And notice that um, there, there isn't anything tying it to the interface here. And we have to create a way to do that. And one simple way to do that is to create a property up here inside of our class to hold the text that we want to change. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to type public game object and we're going to call this our store count text and so this is going to correspond to the course store count text that we're, we have uh, inside of our interface so I, I've, I've, I've created this here just uh, uh, basically a variable to hold this game object. The game object in this case happens to be text. Now, actually, I'm going to change a, a few things here. I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to come here and say using Unity Engine dot UI. And you need to add this. You'll end up adding this to a lot of your scripts that interact with the interface. Because we don't need the whole button. We really just need the text part of it. So let's change this here to text. And so this is our store count text, and it's of a type text object. And we are able to do this by having this uh, UI in here. If I comment this out, and comments, you see these comments right here with the two slashes. If I just comment this out, you'll notice that this right here turns red. You get this red squiggly line. Because that without having this unity engine.ui we don't have access to this text object so let's go ahead and uncomment this again so we have access to it and save this and now what we want to do is we'll leave our debug in there but we want to access the store count dot text or store count text and if I hit it, my period here, it's going to open me up to all the properties and information that's available inside of this store count text object. And one of them, way down here near the bottom, is text. And we're just going to say that equals store count. Now, if I, if I end it there, it's not going to work good enough for us. Because notice what it says here. It says it cannot implicitly convert an integer into a string. So we have a little a little convention that will do that for us. If I type a period here, there's only a handful of, of options, but one of them will almost always be dot two string. And I can then just put a, in, a beginning parentheses and an end parentheses. And this takes that integer that we have here, this store count integer, and it converts it into a string. And then it's going to save it to update our text. Now our text that we are updating here is, of course, tied to this object that we're, we're going to associate with our UI. So I hit Save All. I'm going to come back to here. We're going to stop running our game. And you'll notice here when I um, open this up and click on our Store panel that we have over here on our right a... Um, none under text. Store count text is none. So I'm going to go ahead and run that just so you'll see what happens because it's important so you can see errors. When I click the buy store nothing happens and if I go to console you'll see these errors. It says object reference not set to an instance of an object. It's because that we haven't told Unity what this store count text is. We've set it up inside of here but we haven't told Unity what specifically that score count text is. So I just wanted you to see that and see it, this error because it's really easy to fix. We just need to fill this with something. And, and it's, you know, if you want to pause the video real quick here and try it yourself and see if you can figure it out, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm just going to show you right now. You just need to take this store count text 
and drag it into here like that and because this is a text object and this component right here that I dra dragged in there is a has a text script attached to it it's perfectly fine now watch what happens when I run I hit buy store we see our store counter go up three four five six seven we can buy as many stores as we want and the counter just keeps going up so it, it's it's simple um, hopefully you've uh, been able to follow along if not maybe watch the video again um, if there were parts that were confusing but I'd encourage you trying this yourself from scratch and make sure you're comfortable uh, where we're at so far and so just as a quick review of this lecture and where we're at we created this public variable here and we had to do public to make it accessible so we could drag and drop it into the, into the editor and we named it score count text we then came down here when we buy our store we increment our internal counter that's keeping track of our number of stores and then we set the text uh, uh, right here based upon our store count and we have to do this two strings to convert it um, into text into a string so that it can store it inside of our of our of our text object so that's all there is to it and now in our next video what we'll do is we'll actually get into where we make sure we have enough money to buy the stores or that we're able to actually start our timers um, to be able to actually make money from the stores we're buying. See you in the next lecture.